We've never seen anything like this in all the years we've been farming. Um, I, you know, tis a season for miracles, so anything can happen. With a little inspiration and some imagination, it's not hard to attach any message you might wish to the cross on the creature, now commanding center stage at the Buttercup Farm in Sterling, although when he was first born, his striking symbol wasn't apparent. At first, we didn't notice his markings until later in the day after his fur dried, and then the cross went back into position and the hair straightened out, and that's when we noticed we had something special here. The young male is half Guernsey, half Holstein, and his arrival has been a bright light in the lives of the folks who work the farm. Well, I think it's uh, maybe a message from up above. I'm not sure. We're still trying to figure that out. Mm -hmm. I thought maybe you could help me out with that. Don't look to me for help on that score. <laughs> Well, I wasn't surprised. I wasn't surprised at all because I think the dairy industry has needed a miracle for a long time, and this is it. I think it's divine intervention, personally. Not just happenstance. Absolutely not. I'm in the breeding business. I know a thing or two about reproduction and genetics, and I don't think that this could happen again in a million other cows. Whatever the cause, the effect of the apparent cross on the calf's forehead has been cause for conjecture and lots of affection. He seems like he has a message that he wants to bring. Uh, maybe it's still on its way. <laughs> maybe higher milk prices. You think so? Yes, that would be nice. I see thousands of calves a year, mm -hmm. and I've never seen a calf that had this marking. Miracle calf. It's a miracle calf.